Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to look at a series of videos, uh, starting with this one, on the uh, robot arm. And the first one, we're going to use the uh, microbit computer with Lego parts, and these are all contained in the Electrics microbit inventor kit. Uh, but you can also use another kit from Electrics, which is the Wonder Kit. So uh, the Wonder Kit is uh, a bit cheaper, and uh, it um, can be used for various parts. So you can see right on the top here uh, a uh, robot arm using the Wonder Kit. Now we're going to use, for our project today, we're going to use the um, Nisha Inventors Kit. And uh, what that looks like, uh, we can actually, um, for around about um, $149, uh, you get these parts. And they all connect to a microbit computer and the Nisha adapter. So you can see this is one arrangement that um, you can use. And I'm using MakeBlock from Microsoft for the uh, software. So... Um, we might actually look at some of the extra components. Besides that kit, I'm using Planet X modules and a remote control, also from Electrix. Uh, and as you only get um, one servo motor with the uh, Disha breakout kit, um, you can buy more. And at the moment, um, these are um, $9.90 each. And I'm going to use the M5 catch uh, for my uh, wrist control to pick up objects. Okay, for well, software, we'll be using MakeCode with the extensions. And um, the project that I've done already, you can see it here, the Nisha 2 project. So let's just have a bit of a walk through that. Uh, and we can see some of the photos of it. So there's Nisha 1. We'll go to Nisha 2 and some of the photos. So this is what it's going to look like on the uh, the desktop. And um, a bit of a closer look. You can see the, the catch and the risk there with a um, Lego Technique arm. Then we've got the uh, remote control. And uh, the next photo shows the uh, controller, the microbit controller, connected to the three servo motors so our arm here has three degrees of freedom but it's actually uh, not that hard to add an additional um, degree of freedom with another um, servo motor so you can see what it looks like here and there's our catch so we've uh, got two micro bits one's on the joystick controller and we're going to use our joystick to select the servo uh, that we want to move. We're um, going to select the uh, angle that we move, and we can provide an emergency stop if we need to. So we select the um, uh, servo, and we increment that or decrement it with button A and B, and we use button C to uh, stop the robot arm, and we can enable it or in, engage it with button D. Button E and button F on the remote are used for presets. And we show on the micro bit the servo number that we're currently working with. And we use the, uh, the joystick, um, the X and the Y axis, to um, uh, control the angles of um, servos one and two. And we use the Y to control the angle of servo three. So we're going to use the Electrics remote, the microbit computer, and software-wise, we're going to um, use the um, make code. We might actually stop this uh, and have a look at um, that code before we see a demonstration. So uh, here we've got the code for our joystick controller on Microsoft make code. So um, we might uh, walk through that, zoom in, so you can see it in a little bit more detail. But we just move across, 
we're at the startup and uh, we've selected servo number one. The maximum number of servos that we have here is three. We initialize the uh, joystick and that's actually using extensions. Now you can see the extension over here for the uh, joystick. And we're also, um, we've got extensions for uh, our servos, although we, on our joystick, we don't need the uh, that extension. We set the radio group to one, and we're uh, going to put it in the safety mode uh, by the command stop that's been set to one, and we send that as a radio message. In the forever loop, uh, if there um, is no stop, then we proceed to call process uh, servo one, two, and three. So there, there'll be functions that we call later on. And we also show the servo number, and uh, we're uh, using an analog, um, are we using a serial write also? And you can actually see that over here. If, um, once we get it going, we've got, um, we're going to select on the actual simulator uh, here we go so you can see at the moment i've got um, the joystick in my hand and i'm going to uh, press button a and uh, you'll should see it changing the servo number okay so that's servo number one that's been selected at the moment okay so um that's the forever loop. And uh, if we move along, when we press button A, the essential part is that we're incrementing the servo number until we get to the maximum. And button B does the opposite. Button C uh, stops the servo. D enables the servo. E is a preset for one. And F Button F is a preset for uh, preset number two. So uh, let's have a look at what we do when we're processing the uh, servo angles. So if the joystick is uh, outside of the center, uh, we then map the joystick value to the angle that we're interested in. So um, the servo one angle uh, is mapped between zero and 120 degrees. And we show that on the serial port and we send that by radio to the other. Now the other um, servos are handled in the same way, but the only difference is we uh, change the mapping of our uh, angular range. And we have quite a small angular range for our um, risk servo. And uh, we're also using the logo so we've actually got three presets here, and that's the uh, software for our um, uh, for our um, remote control using the joystick. We might move on and have a, and continue with the um, presentation. So we go back to our presentation now, so we can find it. Here we go. That's the joystick control, and you'll see that in a minute, how that's working. The other one we've got is the arm. Now the arm, uh, the objective here is to move servos on the arm, and what we might do is uh, increase that so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, we'll accept commands from the remote control. We'll implement safety. And um, we're going to use the microbit uh, platform and a remote controller. And we've actually got three presets. Uh, and later on, we'll extend it to four degrees of uh, freedom, but not on this project. For hardware, we're going to use the Nisha Breakout. We're going to use Lego, the Lego base, uh, baseboard, adapters, pins, and a couple of um, technique um, beams. We'll use Microbit, Planet X servos, and we're going to use a M5 um, stack catch. Software-wise, uh, here's our coding. A little bit similar size to what the other one was. We might do a bit of a walkthrough on that one in a minute. 
So we just might move across. Here's our previous code. So here's the code for our um, controlling our arm. And I'll just uh, extend that. Okay, so let's have a bit of a walk through that to see what it looks like. Thank you, Jason. Okay, so um, right at the start, we're setting the radio group to number one, and we show what that group is on the microbit LED array. We set the servo number to one, and we put the um, servo, or we put the uh, robot arm into a stop mode. In the forever, we're um, showing the servo number that we're currently uh, working on, we also write that and the status of the emergency stop to our serial port for debugging. Uh, then we call the functions check command and um, the warning lights. So those pilot lights are controlled by LEDs uh, connected to the ports on microbit. And um, let's have a look through a couple of those functions to check the command. The command, when the command comes in, it will be processed over here. So um, on radio received, we've got two variables, the name of the variable and its value. And if it's an emergency stop, we set command stop uh, to whatever value that we've set. And we're also putting that on the um, debug port. The other variables are a servo number, uh, and the angle of our servos, one, two, and three, and the presets. So we set the preset to the preset number over there. And the other functions are to process all those. But we can also have um, some remote control. If we want to um, process um, preset one, we can press uh, button A, or it can be set uh, remotely. So there's uh, preset one. And all we're doing on this one is to uh, control the angle of our um, uh, servo number one. And um, we set, can set it at different angles with three different presets. And uh, that's the software. So uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, you'll see a, um, a video. But before we do that, we might actually finish off the uh, presentation. Okay, so um, th that's our presentation. It all worked quite well. The results were good. Uh, perhaps one of the issues is that we're putting too much weight onto um, the uh, bearings of the motor. So they're not supported, and uh, we wouldn't want to continue doing that for uh, too long. Okay, and we will extend it to um, a fourth degree of uh, freedom. So we'll... Uh, have a look at what the references are. Okay, so um, I'll be doing additional videos and uh, the ones I'll be focusing on will be to start off with uh, simple projects. So today we've done the Electrics, but we'll also have a look at um, the WaveShare uh, Me um, robot and... Um, it also uses the microbit uh, computer, and there will be a Raspberry Pi version of that. So that, that'll be quite an interesting one. And uh, there'll be a similar one by um, Key e Studio. So as intermediate projects, we'll have a look at the Raspberry Pi version um, of the WaveShare, and we'll have a look at a Raspberry Pi robot arm kit. And for the more advanced ones, I haven't um, got any of these. Oh, I've got the first two. So there's the Jetson Nano Robot, and there's the uh, Bra Brachio uh, Robot Arm. And that's interesting because it's actually quite easy to construct, simpler than many of the other ones. And um, I'll move on to other ones, which I don't have, but are much more advanced than the uh, projects that I'll be showing. Uh, on these videos and stay tuned and I'll give you a desktop um, version of the um, 
robot arm. This is the simple three degrees of freedom robot arm and it's all built using Lego and um, a servo like this one. This is a 360 degree servo which is Lego compatible and um, there are two microbit computers involved in this project. One is used for the joystick which is the remote control of the servo and the other one is uh, controlling the servo motors and it's on the Nisha adapter board and um, there are uh, three servo motors so the servo motors are connected uh, to these uh, sockets and there's two um, pilot lights when it's red at the moment it means that um, it's engaged or activated and when it's green means you can enter this the uh, area where the robot arm is moving and we're using the Nisha kit for microbit the inventor kit and um, let's have a look at the uh, construction we've got a uh, Lego base and you can see there's a servo motor connected to that we've got four plates only three are really necessary but we can put um, the um, arm on the, either the upper or the lower area we have another servo motor uh, which controls the, uh, hor uh, the vertical movement and finally we have a M5 stack catch catcher um, servo um, motor and it's already assembled uh, with an arm or a risk okay so uh, let's have a look at it in action and uh, we'll go to our um, remote control and uh, at the moment we've got servo number three so let's go through the servo servo one servo two and servo three so uh, we'll select servo one uh, by pressing button a and that will in increment it when we show button A on the uh, remote we're also showing button A uh, we're showing the servo number on the um, remote micro okay so um, to actually get it to work we uh, engage we're already engaged but to disengage we press button C and you'll notice that the uh, pilot light goes green and we'll put we'll engage again and uh, this time we'll move our um, arm in the horizontal position so we've got our servo arm and we'll move it with the joystick I'm using this joystick buttons to do that okay so that's one we might move that back and uh, what I'll do now is select uh, servo 2 so there's servo 2 and uh, we'll see how that works so that moves it in the horizontal in the vertical position and we'll select servo 3 to see how our arm works so we go select servo 3 And we can select the angle that we want depending on how far we um, press the joystick control so that that servo three and we have presets the presets are uh, C and D and they're um, selected by the buttons over here okay so that's our um, robot arm using the micro bit with the uh, electrics Nisha kit and um, the uh, servo motor.